Adding more than one Google Map on a page gives visitors a snapshot of all your physical locations. That way they can choose the closest location when visiting your business. In this video, I'll show you how to add multiple Google Maps on one page in WordPress easily. Everyone here at Seedprod loves having you part of the community, so please subscribe, like the video, and hit the bell to be notified of future videos so you don't miss our tutorials and important announcements. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is come over to your WordPress dashboard. That's what I have here, a clean install of WordPress. You can use this on a current website if you like. And let's head over to seedprod.com or click the link in the description below. If you don't have an account with Seedprod already, go ahead and click on one of the orange buttons here to get Seedprod and select the plan that makes the most sense for you. If you have an account, let's go ahead and click on the login button. On the left-hand side, let's enter your email address and your password and click on login. Once logged into your account, let's click on the second tab here called downloads. And then let's go ahead and download the plugin here with the big orange button. While it's downloading, we'll also need the license key here on the left-hand side. We can click the icon here to save that. We can go ahead and close this window. On the left-hand side, let's come under plugins and add new. Up top, you'll see upload plugin. Let's go ahead and click on this. And you can click on choose file to select that zip file that we just downloaded. Or if you're using the same browser or similar, you can click on this and drag it and drop it right here. Next, let's click on install now and activate plugin. So you probably will ask for your license key. Let's go ahead and paste that in here and click verify key. If everything went well, you should see a green success message. We can close this tab at the bottom. Let's go ahead and set up a new landing page. Now we have Seedprod in our menu on the left-hand side. Let's click on pages. And here we have different modes that you can modify, but we want to create a new landing page down here. Let's go ahead and click on this button. And Seedprod's going to ask you to choose a new page template. So you can click the blank template to create one from scratch, or you can select one of the 100 plus professionally designed and mobile friendly templates that come with Seedprod. So I'll just go ahead and select a random one here. We have, for example, this explosive growth. Let's click on this. I'll just call this maps for now. You can call your page whatever you wish. Let's save and start editing the page. This imported the template easily. So now we can just simply modify with our drag and drop page builder. So here, for example, I can click on the title and this is a headline block. So I can just update the text here if I want. So there we go, I updated this. You can just click on more text, update this. This is a text block. Right here we have the opt-in form block. So this will collect emails. We have an image block here, so you can delete this or change this if you like. Come down the page, we have a video block. And all of these blocks are editable and they have their own settings that you can modify after selecting them on the left-hand side. To get back to our blocks though, we have these ones that we can add to our page. So we have the standard blocks and all of the advanced blocks here. So for example, if you want a animated headline, you can just drop that in here and click on it to edit it. And we have all of the different options here to modify that. So what you might be interested in is the Google Maps. So let's go ahead and we'll create a new section at the bottom here for three columns. So let's click on the sections and let's have, for example, three locations for our business. So there we go, we have one, two, three columns here. We can click on this to go back to our block and we can do a quick search for maps. And right here under advanced, we have Google Maps. I'll just simply drag that into this section and we can click on the block settings to modify the location. So if I default, we have West Palm Beach here. Let's say we have, for example, a location in New York. We can actually zoom this out or in. So if you want it a little bit further out and you have the width here. So right now it's a hundred percent of the container. So right now it's this column that it's inside. So if I put this to 50, you can see it's 50% of the width of this column. All right, great. Let's go ahead and add a second one and we can even add a third one if we like. And again, we just modify these by clicking on them. We can change the location. So maybe we'll do another one for Toronto. And I think we set that to six. So we'll put this one to six as well, just so they're all the same. And we have a third one here. So we'll pick another, let's say maybe London, UK. And we'll put this down to six as well. And if you like, you could select the section here. That's the purple one. And you could change the background color. So we could maybe add a little bit of a different color here on the page. So it stands out from everything else. Or you could use this yellow if you wish. So let's go ahead and grab that color. And then I'll come back and select this section. And we'll just paste that in here. There we go. We have that yellow background. If you like, you can come back to your blocks, put a headline above this. Or we can put something such as our locations. You could also maybe use some text here that has your exact address underneath. So maybe you could update the address here. There you go. Once you're happy with your page, you can come under page settings. And here we have general SEO analytics scripts and custom domain. For general, we have our page title, our page URL. We have the page status right now. We're in draft mode. We'll publish this after we're done our settings. We can actually use this to drop down and save and publish the page. We can also show a powered by Seedprod link. That'll be a little button on the bottom of the right page. And if you join the affiliate program, you can enter your affiliate URL here to get 20% on all new sales. If you want to prevent conflicts with your theme or other plugins, or if you're having issues, you can enable isolation mode. 
And if you're using any Facebook features, you can put your app ID in here. Next, we have SEO, and we highly recommend that you check out All-in-One SEO, which works fantastically with Seed Prod. And same with Analytics, we highly recommend Monster Insights. Under the Scripts section, we have Header Scripts, Body, and Footer, so you could add different code in there if you need to. And for custom domains, you can take a normal domain name, and you can actually point it directly to the landing page URL here. So this is a great way to have a shorter domain or to keep track of different marketing campaigns. If you need more information, there's documentation here on that. Once you're happy with everything, let's go ahead and save the page and let's click on publish. Let's go ahead and see the live page. And there we go. If we scroll down to the bottom of our page, we have our locations and we have three different maps here on our page that show our business locations. Now that you know about how to add multiple Google Maps on one page in WordPress, maybe you'd like to check out this video on how to add testimonials to WordPress pages to help give your business products or services more social proof. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.